This is question number 17 in 150 top interview questions. So what is given in this question is that a Roman number will be given to us and we have to convert it to integer. As you can see symbols are given here and their values is given. So 1 in Roman is i, v is 5, x is 10, l is 50, c is 100, d is 500, m is 1000. So basically what is the rule of writing Roman numbers is if you are putting two i's together it will become two. If you are writing x and towards the right side you are putting two one it will become twelve. So that means if you are putting any number towards the right you will be adding it. But let's say you have ten and you are writing it like this ten and a one you are placing before it. So this will become 9 because this way you are subtracting 1 from 10 and it will always be present at the left side. There are 6 instances where we are doing subtraction. Usually in Roman number it is addition only. For example if you have 5 on the left side you are putting 1 it will become 4. So it is 5 minus 1 because it is present towards the left. Then given term can be x and i so this will become 9 if you are putting l and you are putting x towards the left of it it will become 40 and then if you are putting x and then c it will become 90 because c is 100 x is 10 so if you are putting towards the left it will be subtracted then if you are putting let's say C and D. So D is 500. 500 minus 100 would be 400. And then if there is a condition where you are putting C and M. M is 1000. C is 100. So 1000 minus 100 will be 900. So basically what happens in Roman numbers is. If a number whose value is lesser is present on the left side. That means for example. If my I is on D. And sorry if my i index is on c value let's say here c is i and d is i plus y so that means if the value of roman number of i is less than i plus 1 then that means i will subtract the value okay if it is written dc that means the value of i is greater than i plus 1 that case i will add the value got it so this question has to be solved with this technique only okay let's say this string is given to us and we have to find out we have to convert it to integer so what we can do is we can make a dictionary where we are storing all the roman values and i told you if something towards the left is present with the lower value i will say subtract otherwise add simple so what we are doing is look at this loop we are starting i in range length of s till end we will go so initially i will be 0 if i is less than length of s minus 1 that means till the last value you have to go and roman value of s i is less than s of i plus 1 that means it is a lesser value to the left side as i told you so this is m i and c is i plus one so you have to check in the roman values what is the value of m it is thousand and what is the value of c it is hundred so thousand less than hundred not true right so that means if condition will not work it will else part will work so else part it is written total plus roman number value so what is the value of roman number of s of i it is 1000 so new total will be 1000 earlier total was 0 ok now i value is 1 so now this is i and this m is i plus 1 so value of c is less than value of m because m is 1000 c is 100 so what we are doing is we are subtracting the value of s of i which means we are subtracting 100 it becomes 900 let's go to m that means i value 2 so now m is i x is i plus 1 so is the value of i less than i, I plus 1 no because x value is 10 m value is 1000 1000 is greater than 10 so we will simply add 1000 
it will become 1900 let's go next this is i this is i plus 1 so i is less than i plus 1 true or false x is less than c yes so we will do is we will subtract the value of x x value is 10 let's go next c is i now this is i plus 1 i is 4 so i is less than i plus 1 c is less than 1 no so we will add c value that means it will become 1990 let's go next i value will be 5 now so 5 of i is less than i plus 1 no na because yeah yes it is true i is less than 5 i is 1 1 is less than 5 so we will subtract 1 now we will uh, i is on 6 here i is not less than length of s minus 1 so we will not compare we will simply add the value to 5 here so the answer will be 1994 so this is the expected answer here as you can see this third example so very carefully we have to do if something towards the left side is of lower value that means the value of i is less than i plus 1 we will subtract otherwise we will add and this technique we can do in order of n time space complexity will be order of 1 only so it's a very efficient approach this is the lead code solution i will share the py file as well if the code is clear for you you can easily do it okay thanks a lot subscribe to my channel for more such videos thank you